The GPU market in 2025 has been a disaster. With NVIDIA's failed launches and AMD's one successful launch, is this GPU market getting any better? Let's get into it. There was a lot of excitement going into 2025 where we were going to get all new generation of GPUs from NVIDIA and AMD. And now that the first quarter is history, most of us can only look back at NVIDIA's launches of the 5090, 5080, 5070 Ti, and 5070 as massive disappointments. Now AMD did launch the 9070 GPUs, but they quickly sold out. I'm not going to get into how this mess was created. I covered that in great detail in this video linked above. But now that we're into the second quarter, are things getting any better? The 9070 GPUs were the last ones to launch in the quarter and AMD took everything that they produced over several months and dumped it on launch day. It was an exciting day, but it was short-lived. Even though AMD delayed the launch from January to March, which enabled them to stock up even more on GPUs for launch day, they quickly sold out. Even with the fake MSRP and AMD rebates now a distant memory, we can look back and see what AMD was going to set as the MSRP for the 9070 and 9070 XT. Looking at Newegg, we see the RX 9070 is not in stock at this moment. However, you see now only two GPUs listed at MSRP of 549. The Power Color Reaper is an entry level GPU and it has increased from its launch day MSRP price of $549 now up to $599. All other 9070s are priced higher than $600 with the ASUS Tough and Sapphire Nitro Plus topping $700. Removing the two leftover rebated models and the newly adjusted price by the AIB suggests the real MSRP price of the 9070 was $599. Moving on to the 9070 XT model, Newegg shows one model at MSRP of $599 with another ASRock model at $669. The next model is the PowerColor Reaper at $699. Remember, the PowerColor Reaper is their entry-level GPU and it was priced at $599 on launch day. The price has now increased $100. All other models of the 9070 XT are above $700. This would indicate that without the AMD rebates, the newly adjusted price by the AIB suggests the real MSRP price of the 9070 XT is $699. And you can find the same pricing direction on other retailers like Micro Center, Best Buy, and B&H Photo. And this is very interesting. Think about this. If AMD would have launched on January 23rd, as rumored, with the 9070 at $599, which is $50 more than the fake MSRP of the 5070, and the 9070 XT at $699, or $50 less than the fake MSRP of the 5070 Ti, AMD would have received a lot of flack by the reviewers. Remember, January 23rd was before the launch of any RTX 50 series GPU, and we did not fully understand how fake Nvidia's launch was going to be, nor how fake the prices were going to be. As I talked about in this video, AMD execs are looking for praise and not flack. So it is now very clear why AMD delayed the launch date until after NVIDIA completed their fake launches with fake pricing. And it is also now clear why AMD implemented its own fake pricing and resorted to using rebates. The 9070 launch, while it was a day one success, has not seen anything near that since. Stock supplies of the 9070 GPUs are extremely low to nothing. They trickle in very slowly, and the ones that do come into stock are at very inflated prices, nowhere near the MSRP AMD claimed for the launch. What about Nvidia? Since the massive sellout of AMD 9070s on launch day, it seems the availability of Nvidia GPUs are starting to improve a little. At least it's a little bit better than AMD's. If we look at the availability of the 5090, it is only available if you're willing to spend $6,000 on that and other PC parts at Newegg. Yeah, the 5090 is just going to be expensive. It's an AI GPU and you'll have to pay AI GPU prices. The 5070, 5070 Ti, and 5080 are showing up in stock at Newegg, and you can buy these GPUs, no Newegg shuffle required. The issue is pricing. If we look at the pricing of the 5070, we see most of the available models at $700 and up. This is probably the pricing AMD was expecting to compete against. If we look at the pricing of the 5070 Ti, we see a couple of models available around $1,000. Then the 5080 is trending anywhere between $1,400 and $1,600. And 
And the reason they are available is that the pricing at Newegg is now approaching the scalper pricing you see on eBay. If we look at the buy it now pricing for the US only, you can get a 5070 for about $700. A 5070 Ti around $1,000 and the 5080 around $1,400. All buy it now prices, it's all yours and plenty of models available. The result is that the scalpers can't make any money on these inflated prices from Newegg. So Newegg is cutting out the middleman and charging the scalper like prices. And this is completely due to the lack of supply of cards from Nvidia. Newegg has had a couple of drops of the 5070 at or near MSRP. For example, you could have purchased this two-fan MSI Ventus for $549 or the three-fan version for $599. But the more interesting 5070 Ti or 5080 with 16 gigabytes of VRAM, they're practically non-existent at MSRP prices. It's kind of crazy when you think that to buy a 5070, you have to pay almost 5070 Ti MSRP prices. And to purchase a 5070 Ti, you have to pay 5080 MSRP prices. And for the 5080, you are paying almost 5090 MSRP prices from two years ago. And at these prices, there is absolutely zero improvement in the performance per dollar for the Blackwell GPUs. This is not a generational improvement. This is a product replacement in which Nvidia now makes higher margins this generation versus last. So if you don't need one, don't buy one. But that's just too easy to say. I know people who have had their GPUs die on them and they just want to do an all new build. And while you can get good pricing on all the other components for your computer build, heck, even the 9800X 3D became in stock by March and it's in stock everywhere at list price. Micro Center even has them discounted. It's the GPU that's still the problem. Now with more tariffs announced, stock is selling out, you already see the pricing adjusting upwards. This MSI RTX 5070 3 fan model was $599, and the MSI store adjusted the price up to $679. And this MSI RTX 5080 was $1139 at launch, and now the MSI store has adjusted the price up to $1400. These higher prices are just sucking the life out of this GPU generation. But before things get worse, I decided to do something different. You'll see that in upcoming videos. Let me know in the comments below if you will or already have purchased a new Blackwell RDNA 4 GPU. And I'm really curious what GPU you upgraded from. Like it if you learned something, share it, subscribe for more. Check out this next video to learn more. Thank you all so very much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one.